Hey guys, today we're going to be doing a review on the AFE Club German Pack 40 75 centimeter anti-tank gun. So this is going to be my first AFE Club model, and this one looks quite promising. I built and I'm in the painting stages of the Tamiya Pack 40, the 70s one, and it looks nice considering its price. It's like, I got it for like $5 maybe but this one is more around the $25 price range and it's well worth it. And so first thing I'd like to bring to your attention is that it has rubber tires, a pressed brass shield, and a turned aluminum barrel. And it kind of just repeats what it said over there. And the telescope can be revolved and can be built in a tow and fire style. And if you'd like to see that, you can pause right there. This side, just a tongue go camo scheme, and this is AF35071. Same thing on this side. So, let's get into the instruction. So, first for the kit parts, we'll be looking at the goodies, quote unquote goodies, I guess. So, start with. The brass shields. Here's the inner shield. So you can see those engravings for where to put the pla the parts to make the little latchy thing to cover that little viewport, and then holes where to put the spacers. I had an issue with this one being bent because these aren't packaged at all. So mine's I fixed that already, but it was much worse. This one's a lot thicker, I've noticed. These are very thick, by the way, which is nice. Like, compared to some thin PE, that's pretty thick. So there's the holes for where the spacers go. Bent nicely, and mine didn't. There's the part number. Yeah, it's actually engraved into there. So here's the photo edge, comes in a little plastic bag. By the way, those, everything else was packaged. These were packaged with the sprue, and this was in a separate bag. So, wow. Pete itself is very thick, but these parts look very thin, so it shouldn't be an issue. Those are done in photo etch. Those little parts that go on the front of the shield. Right there. And there's the part that moves up and down with the gun. Your metal barrel. And the first thing I'm going to say is that no ridges. Like if you've ever had a metal barrel by Dragon. I noticed Dragon's the main brand that has ridges on it. This one's perfectly smooth. It's great. Looks very nice. Here's something that doesn't look so nice. Where, well, uh, it is like a nice aspect or factor that they give you rubber tires. There. <laughs> That's not just popped out either. That's not just something that you can shave off, but it's actually like molded that way into the plastic. But the ridges are nice, and continental written there instead of a continental. So here we have sprue A. So this looks like most of the gun parts. We'll start down here. Those are these spacers. Molded nicely with lots of protection there. There's the cradle. And... Yes, there is a firing button. You can see there. And these are the little side pieces. Side panels, the side. 
said earlier, two-piece muzzle brake is kind of blech, but I made it work on the Tamiya one, so I guess I can make it work on this one. There is those pieces that are usually molded onto the cradle, but aren't on this. Overall, the parts look pretty nice. Nice detail on that cradle. Then, here's the almost just a trailer in the front shield with some shovels. And I really don't like those shovels at all because they don't look like the shovels I've seen on back 40s. But that looks nice. There's little teeth there. Reverse. And those are the shields. They're molded in two pieces, which is nice because the Tamiya one, you literally had to bend it if you wanted to tow it. Pistons. Oh, whoa. They're small. Look like little suns. I have no idea what those are. But everything looks great. And here's a this kit seems to come with a whole separate stash of tools. So we can use those. It's a nice little addition. That part looks especially nice. There's the telescope, or the sight. And those, you see those on all artillery. I mean, uh, guns pieces, gun pieces, open compartment vehicles, let's say. Those are much better because these wheels in this kit are much nicer than the Tamiya wheels because, as you can see, the, there are holes through them. And here I have a Tamiya wheel right here. Sorry, it's been primed, but as you can see, no holes. Excuse me, no holes. And I personally believe that this kit's just a lot more in scale. The Tammy one seems a bit too large. Some of the parts. So there are the legs. This is like a solid sprue of leg parts, seemingly. Because you have those feet there. I recommend you chip those up heavily. Some handles look a lot nicer than the Tammy handles. Those legs look great. See the weld seam? Oh man. Great looking weld seam down those. Barrel cleaning rods. So overall this kit's really nice and I'm going to be building it for the no tracks no problem, I think is what it's called, group build, that Andy's hosting on the Google Plus group. Originally I said I was going to do the mobile gun system striker, also by AFB, AFE Club, or the ATGM striker, but I decided against it because I already had this model. So basically the whole idea behind that group build is that you build things that don't have tracks, but have a gun, I guess. So, this is a perfect example. So, thank you once again, and see you next time.